As I've been talking about this, we played some sound even yesterday uh, from an intern, an unpaid intern uh, of Harry Reid's who was you know, begging for food. But this is a story. It's another lawsuit out of Hollywood, right? It's, it's poetic justice that all these li- liberal uh, Hollywood types are now getting sued by their, uh, by their interns uh, because they weren't paying enough, right? They're the same guys that want everybody else to pay more. Yet when they had the opportunity to pay somebody, they paid them nothing. Not that I'm saying that there's, there's something wrong with an unpaid internship. I just say there's something wrong with hypocrisy. So if you're going to pay your workers nothing, don't get upset that somebody else is paying them a wage that you don't think is high enough when you paid zero. But anyway, uh, a, a young woman who got a job as an intern at... Um, at uh, the uh, this uh, at the record company, the label of uh, Sean Combs, P Diddy Combs, right? Bad Boy Records. That's it. Bad Boy Entertainment is the company that's being sued. So a woman who was 18 years old, I guess maybe she was a high school senior, just graduated. Maybe she was a college freshman, but she got an internship with Bad Boy Records, working with, you know, with uh, uh, P Diddy. What a, what a dream job! I'm sure all of her friends were green with envy that she got to hang out with rap stars and all these cool people all day long. I mean, a lot of kids would pay for that job. Forget about unpaid. They would pay money to be able to spend their days hanging out with P. Diddy and his buddies, right? Which is what she got to do for a summer, whatever it was. Well, now she's suing. She's suing because it was unpaid, and she's upset at the horrible mundane jobs, tasks that she was asked to perform. And I've got a list of the horrible, horrific things that this poor young lady was forced to do, or not forced. I mean, she did it voluntarily because she could have quit the job whenever she wanted. After all, she wasn't even getting paid. So if you don't quit an unpaid job, you must like it, right? Because you're working for nothing. I mean, I can see somebody working a job they don't like because they need the money. But if you're getting paid nothing, then what's the point? What's keeping you there? But here's the things that she had to do. I'm going to list this off. And, you know, I mean, maybe trying to hold back a tear or, you know, maybe you'll feel get something in the pit of your stomach when you when I when I read you this stuff. If you've got any young kids, maybe you want to hold their ears because they shouldn't have to hear about these horrible things that this poor young lady did uh, at uh, at, uh, you know, bad boy records. So here it is. Answer telephones. Who? Man, those phones, that thing that they sometimes when they ring, that's, you know, it's pretty loud. And I don't know, it can hurt your ear, right? If somebody's loud. And so answering phones, getting lunch and coffee for the paid employees. Yeah, that really sucks. You know, I mean, she probably couldn't even get any lunch for herself, right? She's hungry and she's having to carry all this meals. It's, she's having to smell all this food as she's walking it back from the, uh, the, 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 the pizza place or the sandwich shop. And she can't eat any herself, right? So, yeah, she had to get lunch and coffee. You know, coffee, that's, that's hazardous work. You know, coffee's hot. You might spill some of it while you're walking with it. So I can see that's hazardous duty. Um, making deliveries, dropping stuff off. Yeah, that's, that's, that's rough. That, that is rough. Delivering stuff, you know, you could get stuck in traffic. That's a pain. Who the hell wants to be in traffic, especially out in L.A., right? You get some bad traffic trying to make a delivery. Gift wrapping presents. Yeah, that's, you know, you can get a paper cut. You ever gift wrap something and, you know, you get a little, paper cuts hurt. That, an 18-year-old, that's, that's, you know, I mean, that's child cruelty. Asking an 18-year-old girl to gift wrap the present. Especially if it's not even for her, right? It's not even her present. So she could, you know, that's, that's tough. And here's the last thing she had to do. Decorate the office during holiday parties. Yeah, you know, because, you know, what if she has to stand on a stool? Maybe she could fall. That's, you know, she could hurt herself. Uh, or maybe she could accidentally, you know, when she's trying to staple something to the wall, what if she staples herself? And, you know, that, those little staples can really hurt. So that's it. That's the stuff that she was put through. And she's suing. She's suing. Now, I don't know what this 18-year-old girl expected to do in an unpaid internship when she has no skills? What did she think she was going to be doing at Bad Boy Records? Did she think she was going to be producing albums? Negotiating contracts? What, what, what did she think she was going to do? She's 18 years old and has no skills. She should be lucky that she got to answer the phones 
and, and, and get lunch for people who had skills. And maybe between getting the coffee and wrapping the presents, she might have learned something. She might have actually got, you know, gained from the experience. I mean, obviously, you know, this new court ruling says that you can't ask anybody, an intern, to do anything of value. Well, then what's in it for the company? If she's not going to get the coffee, if she's not going to answer the phones, if she's not going to decorate the office, what is she going to do? She's got no skills. She's never had a job. You know, so, so she's got to start somewhere. You know, even Austin Kusher in his speech, he was giving out some awards, talked about he never had a job that was beneath him. He learned from every experience. Look, you know, this young woman had an excellent opportunity to break into a field to make some connections to have some fun, to learn something. And, of course, she took the opportunity. But now she's trying to use the system because this whole lawsuit is BS. But you know what? Hey, what's her chance of getting a job at this record company later on? Zero. What's the chances that they're going to give an opportunity to another intern in the future? Zero, right? Government with regulation and litigation is destroying opportunity for young people. You know, what if... This young woman at Bad Boy Records, what if the only thing she did was answer phones, get lunch, make deliveries, uh, stuff like that? What if that's all she did? Well, first of all, I doubt that's all she did because uh, that doesn't consume the entire day. Uh, so I'm sure that there were other uh, more stimulating uh, tasks or things that she was able to do or she probably wouldn't have stayed for the entire term of the internship. She might have left. But, but even if that's all you do, there's nothing wrong with that. Because, you know, it still gives you an opportunity to get a foot in the door at an organization uh, and get a leg up on the competition. Let's say I had an intern and I'm asking this intern to do a bunch of routine things and they do a really good job. They, they do it with a smile. They have a good attitude. They're prompt. They're on time. Uh, they're polite. They, they get along with the other people in the office. Now, a paid position comes up an entry-level paid position, that person who took that internship certainly has an advantage over somebody who the, the employer has no, uh, you know, deal, has, has no knowledge of. So it gives you an in. It gives you a leg up. People will do it just for that, just because you know, maybe by getting this guy's coffee and getting his lunch, He's going to get to know me. He's going to like me. He's going to see that I'm conscientious, that I'm dependable, that I get that lunch and I bring it on time. And, I, you know, and, and you know, he, I'm reliable. I mean, just do it. Doing something well, even if it's something as simple as running an errand. Hey, that's something. And then you, you build from there. I mean, you're 18. If, if, if this person didn't have that unpaid internship, what else was she going to do? Hang around with her friends? Hang out at the mall? You know, so, so she was doing this. And, you know, and, and even if she doesn't get a job there, when you get your next, when you put on your, re, your, res, your resume internship at Bad Boy Records, worked with this, that looks pretty good. Maybe she can even get one of these guys to write her a, a, a recommendation. I mean, it looks better than what you do with your summer. I hung out with my friends at the mall. Wouldn't you rather have on your resume, I worked an internship with Bad Boy Records, especially if... The record industry is where you want you're headed. I mean, that maybe that's where she wants to go. It's certainly much better to have that on your resume uh, than have nothing on your resume, a blank line. Uh, so look, there's value in this, but you know what? A lot of people aren't going to get that value thanks to the lawyers and the politicians because these opportunities are just not going to be there uh, in the future, just like jobs aren't there in the future.